What's up guys, this is Save Knight, and welcome back to Deja Vu for the Nintendo. Save, yes. I just finished exploring... The hell is this? West End? Yeah, West End Street. Uh, some guy's penthouse. I learned about some kind of address called South Kens Kedzi Drive. Th this fucking place right here. Kedzi Drive. I have no idea if these are even based on actual places, because they, they kind of said that you're in Chicago, I guess, in like 1931, because you just read a newspaper that said, uh, Japanese bomb Pearl Harbor, so that's like December 7th or 11th, 1941. Okay, so... I think it says I have to go to Kedzie Drive. Here we go, we 75 cents. Now let's say you fuck up. And like, let's say you click the wrong place, you can just go back and click it again while still inside the cab and not actually pay. And it's still only just 75 cents. Bungalow. The garden has grown wild. Oh, okay. The door is locked. I think this one I can actually... Maybe breaking down the door is the best idea. Wham. Your hand is numb from the impact. This one I believe you have to actually... Uh, No, that, 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 that fucking seltzer. Ass. Ugh. You pull, you pull out the gun, point it straight ahead, and pull the trigger. Blam! Bitch, put The lock is gone, so the door is now open. And of course, you did this in front of the cabbie, who says nothing. You're inside the bungalow, you smell the strong odor of cheap perfume. The bed looks like an army cot. It seems to have been carefully made, perhaps to help tidy up the place. They up a paper with three numbers on it. 33, 24, 36. Where is my pen? Let me grab, grab my pen in my hand. I need papers and stuff. Okay, that's no good note. That's not good. I don't need that, 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 or that. <gasps> oh, excuse me. 33, 24... 36. Take the note 3. Small piece of paper with the numbers. Okay, another one. Okay, let me see. 25. 3. 45. I don't know if these numbers change each game. Or if it's like the same ones each time. I don't know. Gaudy pair of pearl earrings. Okay, uh, just because why not? Open the disc. It's unmarked key. Okay. And diary. Open the book at the bookmarked page. Bookmark with the initials JS and printed on it. Because that's not what I wanted to do. December 5th. Seagull dropped by again. I told him to get lost. I can't stand his jealousy. I had my eye on John Sternwood. Even if he is married, he gives me anything I ask for. Gank. If I can get him to divorce his wife, I can really live the good life. I don't want to stop. Stop it. That sounds very, um... Stuffing things. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. ay 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 I 
I still don't think I can do anything here yet. So we're gonna go back to Peoria Street. I think there's a difference between the cab, but I think like this one's like more of an like the one in the blue cab more like more of an asshole or something. When it's a bum who blocks your way, he stands so close that your eyes begin to water. Following words dribble out of his mouth. I got a scoop. Some of that'll save your life. It's worth 50 cents to you. Okay, that's what I meant to do. He punch him. It's not what I wanted to do, but I don't think the bum appreciated that, although he may not have even noticed. Suddenly, you hear the sound of a police siren. Better get out of here quick. Bum glare. The bum gladly takes the money and looks around and says, Joey's hitman and has been looking for you. I got the word that he's waiting for you in your office. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, well I got those things now. So I just use the whatever note. Try three. Okay. Examine the manila folder. It's a piece of folded paper, okay. Opens the folder. Note 1. There's an IOU. It says Ace Harding owes Joey Siegel $1,000. Grant sharing peanuts? Damn. They close the folder. Mage's M&D books. Small box, okay. Open the box. Key four. The trunk to the Mercedes Benz. Mercedes, three says front, okay, that's the front of the whatever. Five was unmarked. Or, yeah. Five says unmarked. Okay, key to the Mercedes Benz. Come on, Dad. Open the trunk with the key. Oh! Gag is made of what? That's not what I want. It's the biggest woman you've ever seen in your life. She appears to be unconscious. She's gagged and her hands and feet are tied. She's a real tub of lard, around 400 pounds. You've never seen her before. That's just terrible. Take the gag. She can't say anything while she's unconscious. So hit her. The force of your blow sends shock waves through the ripples of fat that absorb the effects of anything with less than a 
two-ton payload. In other words, she doesn't feel it. That's terrible. That is so awful. So, let me see. Okay, I'm done in West End. I'm done in Kedzie. I'm at Peoria, Roria, Roria. So, I guess... Okay, I guess I can go to Sherman now. Derp, 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 derp. Herp, derp, derp, derp. Nope, don't hit him. Okay, now I can go to Shoyman. Here you are, you owe me 75 cents. Shit. I almost fucked myself. In a bad way. Now I go do the casino thing. I think if also if you don't have money, like if let's say you actually used your last coin to do whatever. And you come to the machine here and say, oh, you found one or some shit like that, and you use it, and then you'll win. Like, automatically. I think it makes it to where it presets it to automatically win if you have one coin. But it's like a varying amount. I think the highest I've ever got was, I think, like, 23 or 24 or some shit like that. so bad, I mean, it's just like, whatever, okay. See, I don't really think I have that much more to go, like, maybe, like, two episodes after this, and I should be just about done. Okay, now I can go to Shoyman. Ferris, okay, smile. You're on a street, it's really quiet around here. Open the door. You're in the lobby of the office building. There's a hallway in front and a staircase to your left. So you're standing in front of it afterwards. Ace Harding, private eye, you're on the door. I see someone's shadow through the glass. You feel very dazed. You had better do something about it. Memory loss is making you feel weary. You have to do something, but you don't know what to do. See, that's what key five is. You go in, and then bad thing. It's a man pointing his gun this way. Whoops. Been ambushed. He blows you away. He was probably hard to do so. And then tra la 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 la. Go. You 
pull out the gun, point it straight ahead, and pull the trigger. Blam! You shot at whatever was standing inside the office. She feet. Your momentary bout of dizziness. Your head is really pounding. Suddenly, the world begins spinning. You're passing out. Whoops. Your memory seems to be at such a low point that you simply blacked out. Whatever's causing the memory loss to begin with has turned you into a vegetable. Whoops. Okay. Okay, so don't go in there yet. an office? Nope. Examine. Door open must be locked. I think I also use what you might call it number five here. Click. It's at a doctor's office. There's nobody around. Perhaps you'd wait for a nurse. An eye chart, looks like. If you can't read the eye chart from where you're at, get glasses. Bisodium medicine, okay. Pentothal, okay. Ophriol. Medrazen. Campaign. Cabinet's open, okay. The patient's chart. Ace Harding, during his last physical, was strongly urged to quit smoking. Received for some things in their prices, there was a final note written by the doctor. Joey Siegel's secretary, Martha Vickers, says she wants the order delivered to Joe's bar. The patient's medical record. Symptoms, fainting, stomach pains, feverish, vomiting, symptoms of parrot... To don wait. Peritonitis, I'm sorry. High fever, coughing, no appetite, headache, symptoms of pneumonia. Medicine's name and its effect. Ophriol. Medicine used in the treatment of patients with heart murmurs can be fatal. Medrazen. Medicine used in the treatment of patients exposed to nerve gas can be fatal. Okay, so no Ophriol, no Medrazen. Diethyl trimine, a medicine that can cause permanent memory loss if not quickly countered. Sodium bicarbonate, a medicine to counteract the pain of overeating. Sodium bicarbonate, baking soda. Chemop wait, chem what? Chemopapain, I guess. Medicine used to induce a state of euphoria. Sodium pentothal. With this medicine, you can induce the subject into a state of unconsciousness that, at the same time, makes him or her tell the truth. Bisodiumitis. Diethanol trimies antidote. More than one dose is necessary. Memory medicine. That sounds familiar. It's absolutely horrible. You feel like you're about to pass out. Oh god, the lag. Oh. Do I have to take these? I'll take them. By sodium, whatever. Nope. That's his by sodium. It, it, God, 
to lag. So much shit going on. Really, that that cabinet being open lagged the shit out of my game. Eh. Yes, that's lagging the shit out of my game. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just stop here since there's a lot of shit that I gotta do now. Thinking that I have to do it. Uh, when we come back, um, it shouldn't be that much more. Maybe like an episode or two, and I should be able to finish this out. So until then, this is Save Night on Let's Play Deja Vu. Later, guys.